Hello, and welcome to the third week of Christian Sports Recap. I'm Alex Carrillo. Last week, there were two events in high school athletics. The Lady Lions took on the South Holt Knights in an epic volleyball duel, and your fighting football Lions took on the Bulldogs of Stanbury. Our highlights begin at SJC. Just how well did the Lady Lions do? Check it out. In this week's volleyball matchup, the Lady Lions faced off against the South Holt Knights. They were pitted against each other last week in the St. Joseph Christian Volleyball Tournament and the semifinals. The game gets off to a quick start with a set and then a kill by Casey Hall. An all too familiar feeling for the Knights. And the newcomer Caitlin Miller with an ace. And look how the Lions celebrate. They do love punching the sky. Then uh, Emily King, wanting to dance some more, gets another ace. And they dance again. And the next volley with a set by Emily King and a kill by Casey Hall, the Lions are put even farther ahead. And then on the other side of the court, Danielle Beard with a kill. Oh, I would hate to be a South Holt Knight. Then with a sweet save by Allie Fowler and a set into the backcourt by Cortland Osborne, the Lions are off to do even more shuffling. I hate to be against them in a dance-off. And then another kill by Casey Hall, which would even scare our camera. And then another ace by Casey Hall, which would just slip over the net. And with that, the Lady Lions win in two games against the South Holt Lady Knights. Those girls are definitely off to a fast start with a record of 5-1-1. One, one. Tune in next week to see if the Lady Lions were able to defeat the Mid-Buchanan Dragons to move to six victories. Speaking of victories, the SJCS football team began their year off with two. Can they make it three? You may recall last year's thrilling contest with Stanbury that finished in a dramatic fashion at Missouri Western's indoor facility. The Lions look to avenge the exciting loss this past Friday in Stanbury, Missouri. Lions head up to Stanbury this week for this week's matchup of the two undefeated teams. Both teams enter this game with a record of 2-0. Alex Modlin gets things rolling for the Lions first with a rollout pass to Matt Dahlgren who hauls it in and manages to keep two feet in. Then on defense, Lions force a fumble and Alex Modlin falls on it for the Lions' possession. After that, David Beard drops back for pass to Tyler Davison who hauls it in for six points for the Lions who get on the board first and later on tack on a two-point conversion. Next possession, David Beard drops back once again to Justin Mays who brings it in for six points. The Lions at this point are up 16-0. Then later on offense, Alex Marlin shovel passes Jordan Morrison who stiff arms the defender and drags him into the end zone for another six points. After this play, the Bulldogs go down to score their first touchdown. On the following kickoff, Matt Dahlgren takes it all the way to the house for six points for the Lions. At halftime, the Lions lead the Stanbury Bulldogs 36-8. Next half, Stanbury Bulldogs come out fighting with this long run from the quarterback keeper who brings it all the way down to the Lions' five-yard line. Stanbury would go on to score 28 points in the half. But Lions would answer, though, with this run by Justin Mays as he bounces out to the outside and sifts arm the defender. Lions would take the victory in this one. This is what Matt Dahlgren had to say about the game. Uh, man, this game, it proves a lot about what our team can do, what our team is capable of, and, uh, you know, it also shows we need to work a lot harder uh, and uh, condition a tire in the second half, but uh, I'm proud of these guys that played hard. After the exciting win against the Bulldogs, the Lions moved to 3-0. If you're up for a road trip, be sure to follow the Christian Caravan to Chill Howie this Friday. Well, that about does it for the latest installment of Christian Sports Recap. Be sure to tune in next week to see highlights of the Chill Howie Christian football game. We'll also have an update on the volleyball ladies as well as the cross-country team. For Christian Sports Recap, I'm Alex Grill, and boom goes the dynamite.